Hey guys, this is the updated version of my tutorial on how to make a paracord bracelet. I'm going to go through step by step the process of making the bracelet um, and we're going to start with the materials that you need. First off, paracord. I personally buy all my paracord from CampingSurvival.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Bunch of different colors. Um, you can find all of these and more on the website. Again, I'll put that down in the link. For the tutorial today, we're just going to be using black. Okay. Along with the paracord, you're going to need a clip. This is a 5 8 inch clip from CWplus.com or Creative Design Works. You can go pick those up. I'll put the link down in the description. You're going to need a sharp pair of scissors or a knife and then a lighter. Okay? So let's get started. All right. Once you have the color of your choice picked out, you're going to want to measure your paracord according to your wrist size. Um, they say about a foot per inch of the actual weave that we'll be doing. Um, so if, if your wrist is seven inches and you're going to want around seven feet, I give it a foot, foot and a half more than that. So we're just going to measure that out. I actually always, almost always, go for 10 feet. That just gives me a lot of room to work with. So then you just cut it off. And then you're going to want to burn both of these ends. Burning the end that's attached to the rest of your paracord will just save you time in the, in the long run. So you have all this measured out and you're going to want to find your two ends. And personally I like to make sure that the ends are relatively flat. It's just a little bit easier to work with. And then you're going to want to take your clip, take one end. Feed both ends through the bottom. Either side of the clip works, but go through the bottom first. Pull the cord through until you get the loop, and then pull the rest through, back through, I should say. And then tighten that up like that. Get the two ends of the cord and feed it through the bottom again. I'm sorry, the top. It doesn't really matter what either you put it through the top or the bottom I prefer to do the top just because it'll turn out a little cleaner and then pull the excess through and then once you have it down to looking like this you're gonna wanna double check the the sizing of your wrist This is usually where I struggle. You want it to be a snug, but not too tight, leaving some room to work with. Fit. Like that. And then this is where the weave will begin. Now, if you are a beginner, just get organized, 
get the middle strand coming down and separate the two ends going off to the side and then starting with the strand on the left we're gonna cross it over like that and then take the one on the right and go over the one that you just previously crossed So you have that, and take that end and feed it through the loop on the left. So you have something that looks like that. Then holding the clip in place so you don't lose your measurement, you just want to pull the two ends, making sure that first one is tight. And that is your first, first weave, okay? Now once you have that, you're gonna take the strand on the right side this time and cross it over. Take the left strand over the right, around the back and through the loop. And again, pull tight. Again, you're going to start with the left side now. So each time you finish one of the weaves, you're going to start with the opposite side. So we just did the right, and now we're going to do the left. Go over the top. Take the right side. Over. Around. And through the loop tight and the tighter you make it the tighter you make each weave the cleaner the bracelet will be in the end now you can start to see the cobra weave pattern start with the right side cross over left side over the right behind everything and through the loop on the right. Left side over right over around everything and through the loop and pull tight. Right over left over round and through so there you have the weave I'm gonna finish this up and show you towards the end I'll show you one more with the left right over around and through the loop now if you do, if you get lost or if you forget which side you started with, whatever your last step is, whichever side has the loop coming over, you're going to start with that side. So in this case, since I have that, that loop on the right side, I'm going to start with the right and cross over left over through the back and through the loop there you go
Now as, <clears throat> excuse me, as you come towards the end, you're just going to keep going with the weave, making sure to pull each one tight. And now you can either add one more or leave this little gap. I tend to make one more. So we're going to cross over one more time. Making sure to pull that last one as well very tight. And now you have your bracelet. Okay. With the tag ends, making sure that you've pulled it tight, you're going to cut each end close to the knot, close to the bracelet I should say. Like so. Then using your lighter, you're going to singe both ends. Make sure that you don't get, you don't touch your skin to this stuff when it's right after you pull the lighter away because it is very hot. But after a few seconds, you can push that down and make it smooth and get it flush to the rest of the bracelet. And there you go. That is your finished paracord bracelet with the cobra weave. And if you've measured it correctly, it should fit nicely. So I hope this tutorial has helped. If the if my original did not, I figured I should redo that in HD to try and help you guys a little bit. So that is your finished bracelet. Again, I hope this helped. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. As always, thank you guys very much for all of the support. Stay tuned, and as always, I'll see you guys later.